Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. You're listening to SBS News. It's an all-too-familiar ringtone for more than a billion people around the world. While the vast majority of WeChat users live in China, the app is extremely popular with the Chinese diaspora. Fan Yang, who arrived in Melbourne from China eight years ago, researches how it's used in Australia. WeChat contains payment function, um, chatting function, socialisation function, networking function, content publication, um, work-related um, organisation. WeChat even monopolised Chinese people's lifestyle in a sense that everyone who's conduct their activity, work-related activities on WeChat. It's also proved popular with politicians because many are eager to engage with the more than 1.2 million people in the Chinese-Australian community. At the last federal election, candidates created official accounts, circulated videos tailored for the app and even ran live Q&A sessions. But misinformation ran rampant. False stories, such as Labor allowing all refugees permanent residency, were viewed tens of thousands of times. Daria Impiambato, an analyst at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, says, like Facebook or YouTube, the main driver of misinformation is advertising revenue, and it's also difficult to identify the scale and source of fake news. WeChat is a hybrid app. Um, It has official accounts that can post on on a feed um, and they act a little bit like Facebook um, public pages. But then a lot of the conversation actually happens in private group chats um, that are really, really difficult to analyse. There's also another concern that the Chinese-owned app has long been criticised for censoring its users. While Tencent, WeChat's parent company, says all content among its international users is private. Prior research by Citizen Lab, a Canadian analytics company, found that political surveillance of communications affects users beyond China's borders. The Prime Minister himself called out censorship after he lost his official account last year, which is now rebranded to Australian Chinese New Life. But some experts believe that's unlikely. WeChat is actually two apps within one system, Weixing for users in China and WeChat for everyone else. Scott Morrison had procured an official account only available on the Weixing version, which gave him perks such as allowing him to send unlimited alerts to followers. Daria Impiombato again. It was owned by a man in China's Fujian province. That was always a risk that the Prime Minister's office was aware of. Um, So it could have been that the man in Fujian just just decided that the risk of running that account for a foreign politician was not worth uh, the reward anymore. Tencent told SBS News in a statement that it prohibits promotional political content, including election-related paid advertising on the platform, and that it's committed to minimising the dissemination of false news and misinformation. But just a quick scan of the app shows that campaign content is being distributed. Lynn Evelyn, SBS News. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today.